All right, here we go with part two of uh, this build. Uh, it's going to be the uh, grain and pour filling and then the sealer. So uh, this is the grain filler. It's a water-based grain filler I got from Stumac. Uh, it's supposed to dry completely clear and fill the pores. And uh, I used this uh, little blue shop towel thing to circularly uh, rub the stuff into all the various pores. And after I had all that in, I used the squeegee to squeegee it all out. If we take a look at the headstock after the first coat, you can see, I, I think what they call it is the grain got raised really wasn't that big of a deal because before I did the second coat what I did was I went over it with 400 grit sandpaper and I sanded it down nice and flat. Now this is what it looks like after the uh, second coat of the uh, grain and pour filler. You can see there really isn't that much um, grain raising anymore and if we look at the uh, back you can definitely tell that uh, it's basically been all removed. This is what the body looks like after uh, two coats of the pour filler. And uh, this angle, you can kind of see just how, yeah, basically the uh, pores have all been filled out. Moving on, here are some videos of me uh, now applying the uh, Stumac vinyl sealer. I ended up doing uh, three coats of that and so I'll just play the video and let you see how uh, that went along. Oops, bungee cord fell from the ceiling. I guess I should probably just hold it with my hands from uh, now on. As luck would have it, and you can see from this uh, picture here, I ended up getting a run with the uh, vinyl sealer. Looking up what I had to do, I had to wait for it to dry and then just very lightly, very gently, barely putting any pressure on it, is just sand away that little run. Uh, and then I was able to really mask it up and cover it up uh, with the third coat of the vinyl sealer.